Hey, how's it going, guys? It's Shadow Door or Door Shadow coming back to you with episode 19 of FTB Skies. And today we are going to quickly make plastic sheets. So off camera, I went ahead and I've made two jumbo tanks that are on round robin, and they are both pushing in latex. And we can then get what is called a latex processing unit, which is this right here. Let's grab two of these. And we can set that there, set that there. Uh, we probably want to grab a laser node. So one of these for each of these machines. And let's grab our item cards out here. And we're going to just do on the down direction, power. On the down direction, power. These do need power to actually operate. It's not optional, unlike the, uh, the fluid extractors right there. So we'll do that, do that, do that, and do that. Okay, those got power. And then what we can do is on the back, okay, we're also going to need to do a sink of some sort. But latex, we can pull on the back. And then here as well, we can do pull on the back. Okay. And then a sink. Let's see, we should be able to craft up one of these bad boys. It looks like we need a bucket. And then we can get some water. Let's see, do I have a sink nearby right here? Perfect. Didn't have to go far for one. Alright, sink. Fantastic. And then we should be able to place this in the center here. So, water, pull. Water, pull from the left. That should allow for everything to work. Awesome, everything is cruising. This should give us tiny dry rubber. Tiny dry rubber then can be grafted into um, dry rubber, and the dry rubber can then be smelted into plastic. So what we need to do now, what is this? The packager? And we could look at the packager, but... Um, compressor. Do we have anything that might be faster than that? I don't think so. So compressor, uh, packager. We also have the packager upgrade from pedestals, but I think we'll just try. Okay, never mind. We won't go with that one. Um, sequential fabricators. All right, the cheaper option. Then we'll go on the down direction for energy, the down direction for energy, and then here and here on the front here we'll say output. We can then push, and then output here, push, and then back here we'll do input, auto input, auto output, um, and then we can output uh, probably to, we might want to rotate these actually, just to make it easier. All right, clear that, and then to the right of this machine will be input, and then output will be to the left on both. Nope, input, output, perfect. And then of course we have a redstone furnace here. Uh, we might want to do, actually we can just do output into the center, that's fine. All right, so let's grab these tiny dry rubber pieces and we can do this crafting recipe, okay. And then link this to this, this to this. And of course, let's make sure we set the recipe here as well. And then here we want to do on the back to auto input. Same thing here, back, auto input, laser node, laser node, energy card, energy card. Oh, we want to make sure they're on the down direction too. My bad. Got a little ahead of myself on that one. So there's that, there's that, okay? And then these should force output, right? Perfect. It is working, we are getting plastic, and I'm pretty sure what we could do is grab entangled, actually let's just grab a drawer. And I should, can I Can I reach? I'm curious, can I reach from uh, from there? Uh, drawer linking tool. So if I go link to this drawer here, could I possibly reach here? 
Uh, if I actually set this, will it work? I don't know. I doubt it. No, it ain't gonna work. It's too far away. Alright. Um. Well. So we want to output there. Output there. And then I think what we can do... Actually, we have entangled blocks now. I don't know if I mentioned this. We did update the pack, and now we have entangled blocks in the pack, which should be pretty useful. So we should be able to do is actually set... Uh, let's just set it like right over here. Let's just set it behind this. And we should be able to set that there. Okay. And then this here, grab an entangled binder... Kind of do some shenanigans here. This to there. So shift right click on that to bind to the block. And then bind the actual block to this. So now we should see that. And then an inventory manager. Can I do this? I do not know. But we're about to find out. Because I can't ever remember properly what we can actually do. What the limitations of the entangled blocks actually are. So we're going to say a plastic sheet. Let's go grab one. If we toss this in here, if this has 500, nothing. If this has one, fantastic. Okay. So if this has, uh, let's grab an upgrade at functional. Perfect. Now the right upgrade. Smack that into this drawer. And we put... Um, Let's say, how big, how big is this actually? 65. So I want 45,000 sheets. Okay. Because I don't think we need these for anything, right? No quest or anything. Just, uh, just these things for quest. Okay. So yeah, we will then do that. 45,000 sounds good to me. And we should be able to actually take this, and we could set this down here. And probably, how do we want to go about this? There's no way to disable these things with redstone, right? But we could do is disable the power system. I mean, that sounds good to me. Just disable this. Low redstone signal. And we can then do this. There. There. Redstone. Input. Channel there. Do that. Do that. That should connect back to that point. And if we, for example, were to set this back to zero, or, or one, not zero, one, this should cut power, and slowly things should start dying. But the most important machines that need to die are these, because the latex processing will keep going. So that is fantastic. All right, so let's bump this back to 45,000. That's one way to shut this whole thing off. It will produce a few more plastic sheets than, than normal. But uh, we're, what, 20,000 under the limit? So that should work. Uh, but that's plastic sheets. And we should have access to these in the system because we have that connected. Okay? So that's good. We've got plastic sheets automated. And now we can kind of keep going with a little bit of these quests because we now need to get a uh, dissolution chamber. So this solution chamber, this thing right here. So let's actually open this if I can. So we need a diamond gear, a pity machine frame, some plastic sheets and some dissolution chamber. There we go. And we're actually just going to set this right here for now, okay? And I don't think I really need to put this down there, but, uh, We'll grab an item pipe, or a, a pipe in general, an energy pipe. 
dissolution chamber, and then we're actually going to need latex, which I think what we could do is just ender tank it. So we've got one ender tank in here. If we grab another ender tank and we could just recolor this to something else. Um, what do we got? Blue? Do we get? We got lapis, right? We could just do some blue. Turn this to blue dye. Set that one down. Set that one down. There, there. Alter my knees. All right, this one will go here with the output, and then over here. Alrighty, so we've got latex over here. Um, of course, we will want to have a second dissolution chamber that doesn't have latex in it because we will want to use pink slime and stuff in the future, but uh, we'll get to that. So why do we need this? Well, we want to make a simple machine frame. Simple machine frame, this thing right here. So this is crafted with two iron, one golden gear, two plastic, and a pity machine frame. So let's quickly grab the pity machine frame here. Uh, we'll grab a plastic sheet or two. Uh, we'll grab a, some nether brick, which we should have some in here. There we go. We should also have iron and gold gears. Iron and a gold gear. Okay, and we can just shift click most of these in here. There we go. And this will take a few seconds. All right, and that is the simple machine frame, which means that we have completed this quest, I believe. But we have to submit it, and that gives us a whole lot of different things. Um, a backpack, an induction provider, production or induction cell, three chance pendant, silk chance pendant, and a compact giant chance cube. You know what? I think since this is going to be a shorter episode. Oh goodness, what did I do? I got to go check the power real quick. What is happening? Um Oh. Oh, right. This backpack can obtain energy to upgrade itself. I forgot about that. Let's get this out of my inventory. Um, but yeah, this is actually pretty cool. But it needs uh, quite a bit of power to actually go for another tier. So I think what we can do is we can actually set this down, right? There we go. We can actually just disable the charging. That'll work. And we can use this as like a normal backpack. It does pick up fluids. Uh, magnet. Okay. I don't think we really will be using this backpack, but it is an option for in the future, of course. All right. All right, all right. That scared me for a second. But let's toss away some of our stuff here. I'm going to do... Grab that. I'm going to put this one away because I don't want to silk touch anything. I'm going to put away that. Gold gear, that, that. I'll probably put some of this stuff in the system in a minute. But uh, I'm going to then throw away all this stuff. I'm going to keep our, my magnet on me. I'm going to keep this pendant on me. I'm going to do this. Okay, I'm going to take this backpack off. Okay, because I think I have everything I need. We'll grab a sword just in case, I guess. Um, and we will then grab a chance cube. We're going to grab this one. And we're going to grab this one. And I think what we can do is grab an angel block right here. Some obsidian. And I think we're going to go fly out into the middle of uh, the void. And we're going to kind of release 
I'm actually going to grab some cobblestone too, I guess. That's probably not a bad idea. Going to release a chance cube or two. We haven't done this yet, and I think this is just going to be a good little finale for this episode. So let's go open a couple of these. So I think I'm going to go out this direction. And I don't know what the chance cubes are in this one. I have no idea. Um, but we're going we're gonna to see. And I want to get a pretty far distance away. If we die, I I really won't be too, too, too concerned. But uh, we do have a flight totem and everything. So it won't be too, too bad. Plenty of flight totems, I'm pretty sure. So we're going to just set this down here. And we're going to build out a little platform. And I don't have my pickaxe or anything on me, so we can just use our fist here. And of course, I want to replace that. I'm going to replace this with actually a piece of obsidian. So that's where we're going to place our chance cubes, is on the obsidian in the center. Okay, so I think that's a decent enough platform. We probably just toss a lot of this cobblestone off. It should be fine. Um, giant chance cube first. Well, that was uncalled for. <sighs> that was uncalled for as well. I just built this platform. That was kind of like anticlimactic really as well. I figured it was going to be bad. Because a lot of them are, but uh, that was just kind of like explode. That was that was not really great. Eh. Oh well. First one was kind of a, a bus, and that was like the uh, that was like the big one. That's supposed to be like cool. I thought it was gonna be spectacular, but apparently it's not. So let's go with that one. We got a notch apple. Okay, cool. Probably gonna get sudden death here in a second too. Was that Dark Osto? Is that what that said? A big stick. Okay. These are kind of lackluster so far. Alright, I've seen this one before. This is an old, old one. It's pretty cool, though. All the colors of the wool, right? Of course, we're going to mine this because I do not feel like needing to clean this up halfway through. All right, so let's break another one here. Remember, be in the air. You were off by 82. I didn't even know I could type in chat. I like how that's now stuck down there. What do we just pick up? Giga Breaker? For efficiency 10, Fortune 3? Okay. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. Okay. We'll take the bricks, I guess. I mean, cool. Toss this stuff away real quick. Alright, nothing really, really to write home about so far. Oh, that was uncalled for. My dang platform. Alright, platform back intact. Let's keep going. Um, whole bunch of saplings. Fantastic. Uh, why not? Fire aspect. Okay. Uh, Sky Island. Cool. Just keep going. Um, the Divine Leggings. Protection 10, Unbreaking 10. Okay, let's toss that in there. We could definitely repair that. I guess we could take the stuff out of this. I don't really mind. Bookshelves. Yeah, it's Darko the Wise. That's what it says. 
warning it is recommended you don't open these in or next to your base volley that just adds volley to these that was kind of funny I'm just gonna keep opening them until something goes terribly wrong quidditch anyone that's kind of funny I mean I need witch kills so this is fantastic Five witches down. Awesome. All right. Looks like we're getting some questing done as well. What was that diamond sword? Um, at Minecraft. It's probably gonna be ascend or er, yeah, ascending. It was. This thing, the Divine Sword. So let's look at the Divine Sword. That is Sharpness 10, Unbreaking 10. 13 attack damage. Kind of weak in my opinion. The Divine Helmet. Protection 10, Aqua Affinity 10, Unbreaking 10. The Divine Chestplate. I can just upgrade all those to... Uh, Upgrade those all to the uh, next version, the netherite version. All right, last chance cube here. And we got a full set of divine armor, which means that I'm just going to go make those into netherite and be completely overpowered. But with that, guys, I am going to wrap the episode up here. Kind of just had a little bit of uh, experimenting with the um chance blocks nothing too too fancy with those uh, which was kind of disappointing but i hope you guys have enjoyed this episode thank you guys so so much for watching i can't wait to see you guys in the next one also we've started a an smp that uh, me um fallen pumpkin and uh, i completely just forgot his name relatable gaming has started and uh, we are having a blast. I spent three hours before this episode playing uh, on the SMP, playing with them, chatting with them, and all of that. And I can't wait to do more with them. But thank you guys so, so much for watching. Stay awesome. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.